Hello friends, teachers and students. This is the fifth lecture or the fifth session on Google Classroom. And uh, in this session we will see how to do grading and marking or how to set the grading scheme. I hope you might have seen all the previous four lectures in which the first was on how what the stream is and how to set the stream. Second was on classwork that is to set up a classwork. Third one is what is people in the classwork. And the next was the chapters in the classwork. So in these four sessions I have explained what is a Google Classroom, how to set up the stream, how to set up the classwork in classwork, how to set up the classwork, then how to set up chapters and how to set up the people. Now in this video we will see how to do the grading and marking. But prior to grading and marking, we should know how to set the assignments or how to upload the assignments. So let's go to our classroom. So this is, uh, in, uh, I have two classrooms here for third year, information technology. This classroom is of security and computing. This classroom is of info internet of things so we were working with the classroom of internet of things in the past four videos in the last four videos we have seen how to set up this classroom now let's see this classroom so i've started with my classroom and now i want to set the assignment for the students so i'll go to classwork after going to classwork i'll say assignments now when I go to assignment, I can write here the title of the assignment that is assignment number one. Here I can say this assignment is from unit one. It is unit one in that topic one and the name of the topic was internet of things and over now I can create or I can add the already created assignment. Let's see what is there in create. In create I have docs, slides, sheets, drawing and forms. So using form I can create the assignment and if you don't know how to use the form please go uh, please see the video on google forms and then again try to set up this form and if you have already seen it's fine and uh, teachers students if you like these videos and uh, the content of the videos please do like share subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that you can get notification of my new videos so let's continue with the google forms where we are creating the assignment so i'm not using this any of these options because I'll be using already ready-made assignment which I've already uploaded in the drive so I'll say add I'll go to Google Drive find it is loading yeah now in this I have this assignment number one so I'll click this and I'll say add so I've added now this assignment is for all students and this is for internet of things class so it is internet of things then due date I can set let's say the due date I have set is 16 so 16th of March under which topic it is that is internet of thing and overview then marks let's say for this assignments I am setting 10 or other I can say 20 marks fine 
so this is 20 now for this even i can set rubrics now rubric means it is a heading for the document or it is a set of rules or instructions so here what i can do i can set the rules that how actually i am grading this assignments so i can create rubric i can reuse or i can import it from the sheet but since this is first time i'll create the rubric now in this it says using score okay fine i'm using it on and i'll set up the criteria now my criteria is completeness of assignment now fine now i can give even description that on which basis i have written these marks so i'll write the description that attempt all the questions in the assignment fine so i have to attempt all the questions now what are the criteria so suppose a student attempts any question now in this question he will get one point for one correct point point then i can say additional criteria I will say additional point let's say one point more for correct example so i have given one point or rather i will say i'll give two points here so one point for correct point and if it is having a correct example i'll give two points so in this way i'm doing the grading it's up to you how to set up the grading now this is how i can set the rubrics rubrics means i have to set the rules on what basis i am giving the points so i'll save this rubric So coming here if we see at this point there are only 20 points so i kept here 20 and i'll say schedule it and scheduling is 60 fine so schedule it so i hope you have understood how to set the rubrics now I'll go to the grades. So there are no grades yet. Fine. Sometimes you may see even missing also. If they have not attempted or the not solved. But come to settings first. Let's see the grading system. Now in settings we have general classroom where I will get the code I can copy the code I can reset the code I can disable the code but I am just writing display the code so this code will be displayed now in the stream student can only comment student can post and comment and only teacher can post and comment but uh, it should be a two way communication so I am making student can only comment whereas teacher can post coming to the class on the stream so show the condensed notification means only just the notification part if i want the notification along with the attachment details i can click on 
can't show attachment details and if I don't want to show any notification I can say hide but I'll sh uh, select show condense notification now coming to grading so in grading here there is no overall grade total point and weighted by category so I'll select total point now the grading category so I'll add the category here I'll say assignment so assignments are for 20 marks then add grade you have a project so let's say this project will fetch next 10 marks and the third say test or quiz which will fetch the marks out of 70 so in all I have set it for 100 marks so I'll say save so my grading system is ready I have set my rubrics and now let's see what is the change now again I'll go to the assignment part and I'll say edit so previously there was only points over here there wasn't any category called as grade category but now this grade category is there because I've set the category now this was assignment so I've selected the assignment so now assignment for 20 points Done. now I'll set the quiz so I'm going to the quiz assignments here again I'll write internet of things here in bracket I'll write test so that students can understand what it is now here again I'll write internet of internet of things comma unit 1 topic 1 so this quiz is from unit 1 topic 1 and the topic name is internet of things and over so here also I can create the quiz using Google form and if you don't know how to create the quiz using Google form please watch the video of Google quiz on my channel and I've already created a quiz so I'll select that quiz so I'll go to add Google Drive the quiz my quiz is stored in the Google Drive so from here I'll select the test and I'll see so my test is added here again I'll say test or quiz automatically I've set to 70 marks so it has been turned to 70 marks and then date I'll set 16 no time for that and under the topic it is internet of things and I've already told you how to set the rubric so you even here also can this can set the rubrics but right now I'm just keeping it as it is and I'll say schedule it so scheduling was on 16 right. so my over assignment and here it is test so this is how I can set the details of the assignments or grading so I hope till this point you might have understood how to set the rubrics uh, what is the purpose of rubrics and how to set the gradings now in all topics you can see all the topics which are listed here so if I click on syllabus it will only give details of that particular part if I click on textbook it will give details of the textbooks which are loaded here and also it will show me the comments given by the students now here internet of things in this you can see there is a test there is an assignment there are two questions now see this these questions right now are assigned to six students but none of them have replied so none of them have yet turned in this is the web URL and then this is video PDF 
this i have already explained you in my previous videos or my previous lectures so i hope you might have understood how to set up the things now in people if i go if i check here this is a teacher manoj kavedia 1 2 3 4 5 6 students are there so on teacher side i can see six students i have set the grading pattern yet there are no grades so i hope you might clear with the things how to set the assignment how to set the grades so this was the fifth video on grading and assignments and quiz i hope you might have understood this now we'll go towards the sixth video that is how exactly student will use this system